In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you compare the Canon BR-E1 wireless remote to your Canon mirrorless camera. And I'm going to start right now. So the first thing you want to do is make sure you've got battery in your remote. To test that, all you need to do is simply press the main button twice. It should show up with a red blinking light, basically saying that you've actually got battery, which is the first thing I would check. Now let's go ahead and pair it to our camera. And in today's video, I'm gonna be pairing it with my Canon EOS R5. So firstly, you want to go ahead and jump over to the menu by pressing menu on your camera. Then you want to go over to the purple section, which is network one settings and drop down to where you can say it says Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connection. Now inside that, you want to go to the next page and you want to go ahead and drop down to where you can see connect wireless remote. So let's go ahead and select it like so. Now inside that, you want to go ahead and click add device to connect to. So we go ahead and select that. Then inside, you just need to click OK because we want to pair our remote. Now all you'll need to do is simply press the T and W button on your wireless remote to start pairing. So these two small buttons here, just press those bone both at the same time. And then the red blinking light will start blinking rapidly to show you that you are now in pairing mode. Now what it will do is it will pop up, as you can see, on the menu saying that it is now paired. So all you need to do now is go ahead and click OK. Now if you go ahead and use it straight away, you'll find that it doesn't actually connect or doesn't work directly with your camera. That's because we need to change one setting inside the Canon camera. Okay, so let's go ahead and exit out of our pairing mode. So go to your info page, which gives you basically all the information, this page you can see here. Go ahead and press Q, and then what you want to do is go to your drive mode settings. Now inside your drive mode, you want to turn it off, either continuous shot or single shot, and what you want to do is go over right to the right hand side where you can see it says self timer 10 second slash remote. Then all you'll need to do is select that, and what it'll do is it'll automatically work with your remote. Now something also to bear in mind, on the side of your remote, you've also got a switch, which will allow you to change from photo to video mode. So again, remember that switch. If you've got it in photo mode and you're in photo mode of camera, it should work. But if you've got it in video mode and your bike needs to have it switched down, it might not necessarily take a photo. So there are the few troubleshooting methods that you'll need to connect it. As you can see, it's a really simple and I, I use it for all my tutorials because my camera's all the way over there and I have to press the start and stop so I can just sit in my chair and, and press it like this for video. But also for photo, it allows me to have it quite far away. I've used it about 30 meters or so and it works really well. So yeah, highly recommend this remote if you're after either using it for a self timer or you're using it myself as a wireless remote for video.